Hello everybody, welcome to JD's Journeys. My name is JD and today we've got another retro book review. This week I'm reviewing this book, Ringworld by Larry Niven. Now, this is probably considered a classic sci-fi novel. It was written by Larry Niven and he created the known universe which Ringworld is set in. And in this book, a group of two humans, a Pearson's puppeteer and a Kazin, go to Ringworld to explore it. No one's ever been there, so they don't know what it's like. And the story is all about their exploration. So this book has won several awards. It won Nebula, Hugo, and Locus awards. So I thought, this is probably a very good book to read. I was very interested in reading it because I was expecting a lot of world building. I did get that though. That is that is a very good thing. So to start off, we'll look at the characters. We have 200 year old Louis Wu, who doesn't seem 200 years old at all, and he's getting a bit bored with life and he just wants to have an adventure. And he met Nessus, a Pearson's puppeteer. Now this is an alien species that has three legs, no head, but it has these eye mouth stalks. It's, there's two of them and they also function as hands. But this species is very intelligent, very advanced, but they're afraid of everything. And then we have Speaker to Animals, who is a Kazin, which is uh, kind of like a, a cat-like alien. They're very aggressive and they love to fight. And finally we have Tila Brown, who is a very young and naive woman. She's human as well but she has very little life experience. All of these characters turned out to be very likable. I thought that they were great. Well, there's also a lot of tension between them because the Kazin do not trust humans or Pearson's puppeteers. Humans don't trust Kazin or Pearson's puppeteers and the Pearson's puppeteers are just afraid of everything. What results are very humorous situations as these different species interact. So it is actually quite funny. Now, this story takes place basically in three worlds. It starts off on Earth in the year 2850. Now, at that time, the culture on Earth is very much like a big party. It's very reminiscent of the late 1960s free love culture. And that is when it was written, so it reflected the current culture of the time. Now, the Pearson's Puppeteer's World that one was fairly advanced, but it seemed really sterile. I was expecting something more. But of course, the big star of this book is Ringworld. So this is a huge ring around a star. It has an enormous amount of land. So it would take an incredible amount of time to explore the whole thing. They only explored a very small fraction even tinier than a small fraction, a minuscule fra fraction. But what we saw was very interesting, and I found the whole world fascinating. And I'm looking forward to reading other novels in this series, just to see if they show even more of the world. So I went into this book thinking this is going to be a hard sci-fi novel with a lot of great world building. Now the world building was great. The cultures were very interesting, although not particularly in-depth. But hard sci-fi, well, there was some elements of it, but it was incredibly cheesy. It was very corny. Just the way everyone interacted, the Earth culture was so corny. It reminded me a lot of the original Star Trek. And actually, Star Trek the Animated Series did a crossover with Ringworld. Uh, they brought in the Kazin, so that was very interesting. Because of the corniness of this book, I couldn't take it very seriously. However, it was a lot of fun to read. I really enjoyed it. I originally gave it three and a half out of five stars, and I would like to stick with that. I remember the book quite fondly though, so I, I really enjoyed it and I want to read more of the series. This should interest fans of both hard sci-fi and not so hard sci-fi. It is a lot of fun to read, and I do recommend it quite a bit. Have you read this book? Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. Also, if you like this video, 
please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe right over here. Also, you can check out these two videos here. I'm sure you'll find something you enjoy. So thank you for going on this journey to Ringworld with me. See you in the next video.